Get mosquitoes. Go away. Or was it just a um just... You need to get used to that because in most games for most games it's smooth. You heard that, right? That wasn't just my imagination. Just my imagination. What? What? What was that? Hang on. Sorry. I'm gonna read the note. I just... What is that? Uh, suspicions. There was a strange atmosphere in the settlement today. The people seemed more subdued and silent than usual. Although it could have been a projection of my own foreboding. Uh, boating, not boarding. <laughs> Sarah's predicament plays on my mind, so much so that out of the corner of my eye I could swear I saw her sitting in my room. But when I looked, of course, she was not there. I will need to approach her father about this uh, uh, attitude. Um, shit. Where was I? Uh, about his attitude towards her. He's a harsh leader and no different in his parenting. While the villagers seem enraptured by his vision, I am less convinced and find it hard to trust his words <laughs> certainly as up as the others. Although the streets were quiet today, in the night they seem to have come alive. When I left my house to inquire as to the commotion, the noise faded into nothingness, as though it had never existed in the first place. Tomorrow I will have to be braver and speak to Sarah's father. Then perhaps the feeling of unease will leave me and the inexplicable things that have... I'm sorry. Uh, the inexplicable... Inexplicable things that have been happening here will show themselves to be nothing but a fracture of my own nervous mind. Okay, I'm sorry that my cats <laughs> keep interrupting, but I don't know, they kind of get active when I'm talking. So, yeah. Yes. <gasps> um, I can't move my mouse. Why can't I move my mouse? Wait, wait, did the battery die? Are you kidding me? Right now? Oh no, it's working again. Hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, that was good. That was good, like the whole making my mouse not work anymore. That was awesome. Good job. Yay. Well, hello there. Can I take that away? Can I go inside? Hello? Hello? No? Can I knock on the door? No. Well, that sucks. Um. Ooh! A bathroom! An outhouse! Can I? Excuse me? Um. Can I take the axe? What, what 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 are you worrying about? What, 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 what? I did. That's just that's just the scarecrow. There's no need to be scared. It's just scarecrow. Okay, I'm not gonna do anything. I hope. I really hope. Oh. Okay, map. So, you have a face. That's supposed to be a moose or a deer. I don't know. There's a rabbit and a fish. Okay, evil rabbit, evil moose or deer and fish. 
So hang on, where am I? I am at the village. This is where I came from, I guess. Um, oh yeah, this is where I came from. I'm here. So there's evil fish. There's a rabbit. So let's go to the evil fish first. Why not? Because I can. I'm gonna go to the evil fishy. Alright. So. Okay. That was just a frog jumping into the water. I'm pretty. If you stop it. Mosey. Don't do that. You're scaring mommy. Oh, a monster in the lake. Ooh. When I was younger, an older boy told me a story about a creature that lived in the lake. He swore that while out walking, he had looked towards the distant shoreline and saw a red glow softly radiating from within the water. The boy took off his shoes and cautiously waded in the to get a better view, but as he got closer, it rapidly started toward him. Coming toward him, I guess. Startled, he backed out of the water to the safety of land. Emerging from the spot he had just occupied, the boy glimpsed bright red scales, a shark like jaw, and rows of ragged sharp teeth. After having encounter, uh, recounted his tale, I told the boy that it didn't that I didn't believe him, that nothing so monstrous could be in creation. In response, he retrieved from his bag an old book, flipping, flipping to a well-thumbed page that showed a hand-drawn picture of a grotesque-looking catfish. It was not the creature he had seen, but proof that nature could be more hideous than anything I'd ever imagined before. Ozzy! He's cooking. He's looking. Um, sorry. I went home in tears and my father berated me for believing in such foolish make-believe stories. Even now, although I know it cannot be true, some part of me believes that such a creature exists, perhaps hiding in a cave deep below the water's surface. Sometimes it haunts my dreams. In them, I am the boy swimming out into the lake. I see it beneath me, coming towards me, but I am powerless to move. When it grabs my leg in its jaw and drags me into the depths, I feel no pain, only the sense of relief that comes from the coming to be inevitable. It's strange you think that I would stay away from the lake, but more than ever I find myself drawn there, hoping to catch a glimpse of the mysterious creature from my nightmares. Well, hey froggy, what's up? How you doing? Lovely. Oh, there's something there. Can I get that? I don't want to swim because I don't want to see the creature. But can I maybe like, try to go from over there? Maybe. Maybe I can. Can I go this way? Like, oh, I can. Okay, cool. So maybe I can make it. Hmm. Still have to swim. Me no likey. Okay. I'm brave. I'm gonna do it. Because I'm brave. Oh, nothing here. Okay, cool. Where's that glowy thingy? There. What the hell was that? Is that a hip bone? Well, hello there, evil creature. Should I? Uh, it swam over there, I think, so I probably shouldn't go this way. But if I swim this way, maybe, but I'm a very slow swimmer. Hmm. I don't trust this way anymore. But it's shorter. Maybe you can make it. Oh, 
Maybe I can jump and get a head start. I don't know. Let's try it. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> don't worry. I will add... Um... <gasps> What? What? Why are you? Why are you drowning? Why are you drowning? Um. Um. What the hell just happened? I, d I, d I didn't. I thought I died. What? Wait. What? Uh, I am so confused. How did I get in a cave? Is that a dead person? Fish bones. And yeah, that, no, that's not a dead person. That's just a rock. It looked like a dead person from here. Honestly. Um. <coughs> Was there a reason for the coughing? Was it too cool for you? Oh, I'm back here. Oh, so that was a shortcut, huh? Cool. Cool, I can live with that. All right, we did the fish thing and we got the hip bones. I don't know why we would need hip bones, but okay. Ah, uh, yeah. That wasn't scary because I just scratched myself, so I didn't get spooked by it. Um. Hello? Hello? Well, fuck you then. Don't want to communicate with me. Fuck you. Uh, anything? Can I pick up like a, a, a weapon? Would be nice. <gasps> <laughs> oh, I got an achievement. I got an achievement. Uh, okay, so it's good that I like to screw around and do stupid shit. You have two different colored eyes. How lovely! Hey, really lovely. Are you following me with your head? No? Okay. You're fine, I like you. Okay, so hang on. The Where was the deer and where was the rabbit again? I'm sorry, I have to go check the map because uh, I think I picked up a carrot. So I guess that would be for the rabbit. And I don't know what we're going to do with the deer or moose or whatever. Um, rabbit. Okay. Uh, and it's the right path. To the rabbit. Maybe the rabbit will give me a bone. I don't know why I'm collecting bones, but okay. Maybe I have a dog. That would like those bones. Hey there. There we go. So where's the evil rabbit? Evil rabbit! Don't do that. Are you warning me of, of something? Or I, I, it's just meth, messing with me. Well, <laughs> I wanted to say messing with me. <laughs> no, messing. I meant mess. Thing. so sure that I want to be here. Fluffy friend. Oh, it's about the rabbit. My father never liked my frequent tip, uh, trips into the forest. As a deterrent, he used to tell me tales of feral wolves that roamed through, these, uh, through the trees. Wolves don't climb trees. Through the trees. Oh, meaning through. Okay, my English isn't perfect, so I get confused sometimes. Um, hunting in packs and ripping apart any animal or human they encountered. That is bullshit because wolves in nature usually don't attack humans unless they're wounded and uh, you know, dying or something. Um, 
To this day, I believe that the wolves were nothing more than stories told by an overbearing parent because I never saw, heard, or sensed their presence. I think that's because the forest has always been a beautiful and peaceful place to me. Exactly the way I imagined it from my books. Not the dangerous place I was told existed beyond the tree line. Every step I take deeper into the forest highlights its beauty. The sweet smelling flowers, the harmony of singing birds, the squirrels that jump skitt skittishly from one tree to another, and even the insects that find their heaven amongst the varied plants. Actually, I could do without mosquitoes. Yeah. Those I don't need at all. I don't think anybody needs them. <laughs> One particularly sunny day, I was walking in the forest when I heard a noise from the bushes. It was not the rustling of wind or on leaves, but of something lurking in the undergrowth. My mind, though normally calm amongst the trees, immediately jumped to the thoughts of wolves waiting to pounce. I took a cautious step back, and as though it had suddenly seen its chance to escape, a rabbit jumped from the underbush and bolted for its hole. Yeah, that's a dangerous, dangerous wolf, huh? The next day I returned with a carrot for the rabbit and placed it in front of its home. Within 30 minutes it reappeared, sniffing the food cautiously and allowing me to get a better look at it. Its coat was shining, silvery grey, and around its right eye was a perfectly circular patch of black fur. Within two weeks, it was eating out of my hand. The rabbit's bravery was short-lived. Its comfort in the presence of humans made it an easy target for the settlement hunter. Sometimes I think animals deserve more sympathy than humans. Agreed! I'm sorry, I agree to that. I'm 